Welcome to Electron Online, and now in this video we're going to talk about what we call the present value of an annuity. In previous videos we saw that if you take some money out of your paycheck on a weekly, bi-weekly, monthly basis, you put it into an account, usually tax deferred, and you invest it at a certain interest, and of course the interest rate will vary, uh, but that, uh, that you know, over a period of time that will be kind of an average. And uh, let's say in, in this example we take $100 per week out of our account, uh, we invest at an average rate of uh, 6% and let's say we do this for 40 years, how much money will we end up with at the end of a 40 year period? And as we saw in previous examples, in this case it would be $867,000, which is a nice retirement sum. So the question is, what do we mean by the present value of that account? Well, that means what amount would you need today so that you could invest it for a period of 40 years at 6% interest at a monthly or in this case, the um, weekly compounding scheme to end up with the very same amount. So how much cash do you need in your hand today so you can put it in the bank, not touch it for 40 years, at 6% interest, compound it weekly, and you would end up with the very same amount as you would if you just put in $100 per week. So what is that amount? That's called the present value of the annuity. All right, here's the equation. Notice that this is the equation for the future value and the equation for the present value simply is these two things turned around with a negative exponent and then starting with the periodic payment over here. So that would be $100 per week, 52 conversions per year, and let's go ahead and figure out what that number is. So again, starting from the inside here, we take 0.06, that's the interest rate, divided by 52, because of 52 conversions per year. We add one to that and raise it to the 52 times 40, but it's a negative. So 52 times a negative 40. We subtract that from one. Then we divide it by 0 0.06, divided by 52. That's the same as multiplying times 52 and dividing it at 0 0.06, and then multiplying by 100. And that amount then is 78,700 and $93.56. So if you had that much money today in hand and you put it into a tax-deferred tax plan with weekly compounding at 6%, you would end up with the same amount of money after 40 years. So that's why it's called the present value of that annuity. All right, just to show you that that's indeed correct, let's figure it out. So let's say that we have the amount Accumulated is equal to the principal, and of course the principal invested would be the same amount of money right here, times the quantity, 1 plus the rate over the number of conversions per month, times M times T. So that again is the equation that we use for compounded interest, and so we're going to invest the same amount of money for 40 years at 6% interest rate with weekly conversions. All right, so let's say we get the same amount. So it would be 78000 $793.56 times 1 plus the rate divided by 52 raised to the 52 times 40 power. Like that. And let's see if we get the same amount. All right, starting from the inside again, we get 0 0.06 divided by 52 plus 1. Raise that to the 40 times 52 power. Multiply that times 78,793.56 and the amount I end up with is 867,354.44. And notice we're off by penny. That's okay. It's probably just a rounding error. So you can see that you get the very same amount after 40 years. Now, why don't we just take ahead, go ahead and take the seventy-eight or $79,000 put a bank today because most people when they get out of college and they start working, they don't have $79,000 to put into a bank so that it will accumulate to $867,000 by the time they retire. So the only other option then would be to start by pulling out $100 a week out of your paycheck and do that for 40 years and you'll end up with that amount you can retire on. And that's how that works and that is what we mean by the present value of an annuity.